Shaitan wants to make all of these worldly things beautiful to you. Just like he made that tree beautiful for Adam. The tree is nothing special. But what did Shaitan do? He made it beautiful. He made it nice. He made it something that Adam wanted to acquire. وَلَا تَلْبِسُ الْحَقَّ بِالْبَاطِلِ That the Quran says, and do not confuse and do not twist around truth with falsehood. You know, when somebody mentions a star, right? A star, a superstar. You think of a movie star. You think of people that are, you know, the farthest thing away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you look classically in Islamic history and even Christian history, you'll see that إِذَا ذُكِرَ الْعُلَمَاءَ فَمَالِكُ النَّجَمُ That Imam Shafi'i used to say that when a star is mentioned, then think of Imam Malik. That's what a star is. Somebody who's connected to Allah. That today when people say art, they mean art of sculptures and naked things. But art in reality was things like theology, history, language, poetry. These were art. When in the Arab world, they say mashrubat ruhiya, soul drinks. They call alcohol soul drink. But in reality, they're mashrubat jununiya. They're drinks that cause you to lose your intellect. But what does shaitan do? He changes all the names of things. He makes art like this. He makes stars, the movie stars that you see on TV, so on and so forth. Until you think that that which is bad is actually good and that which is good is actually bad. That's how shaitan grabs people.